Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're looking for a travel tripod and your budget's around $200 or under, then stick around because I think I found the perfect one. So today I'm uh, gonna go through the Manfrotto B3 Advanced travel tripod. I've had this now for about two years. I've taken it all over the place with me uh, and I'm gonna go through and review it. Okay, so there's a couple of things with the Manfrotto B3 Advanced. Uh, you can get the aluminum one, which is the one that I've picked up here, or you can pay a little bit more and get a carbon fiber one. Uh, personally, I'll stick to the aluminum ones. It's coming in at under 1.6 kilos, and the payload is over eight kilos. Uh, so it easily, easily holds my Canon R5 with a 24 to 70 f 2.8 uh, with loads to spare. That setup there is only about 1.6 kilograms. I've been using this for landscapes. I also use it quite a lot now for video. One of the things I like uh, about having a ball head is it's the quickest way to adjust and get your shots. So on the uh, on the ball head itself it has a separate panning function, uh, panning lock, so you can get some smooth pans with that if you want to do the video. We also have a really easy to use just locking release mechanism here that allows you to position the ball head in any position that you want. You can also tilt it over to the side uh, if you want to get portrait shots. comes with its own separate little comes with its own separate little quick release plate that you just simply screw onto the bottom of your camera and then you can slot it in. On the main locking mechanism here you also have a little control here which can change the resistance so if you do have a heavier setup there's no worries about it slipping off to the side you can simply twist this and change the resistance level on the ball head uh, and that will allow you to put on heavier loads without it slipping off to the side. In terms of the build quality itself, uh, it's aluminium. As I say, you can get a carbon fiber if you want to spend a little bit more money. Uh, I didn't want to spend more money. I wanted to keep under $200 because that was about the budget that I had at the time that I bought this. Uh, it's uh, got three legs on the extension. And one of the main things that I'm looking for in a tripod, as well as it being sturdy, lightweight, and compact, is that it has lever locks on the legs because they're much more secure. I've had it before in cold weather where I've tried the twist locks and I've thought I've twisted the lock. And what ends up happening is, is I haven't locked it in place properly. And I turn around and you can see the tripod and the camera and everything going over. These are much easier to use, especially if your hands are cold. And one thing I like about this, just little details that sort of make the tripod more usable, is it's got a nice rubber grip on one of the legs. Uh, if you're uh, just sort of swinging it around, carrying it around with you, you know you can get good grip on there. But also, if it's again in cold weather, uh, this just stops your hands freezing by holding onto the aluminium legs because it can get pretty cold when you're in cold climates. One of the things that I'm also always looking for in a tripod as someone who's slightly taller at six foot is I want the height of the tripod to reach a decent uh, decent level. So I don't want to be stooping over trying to sort of bend over to look through the viewfinder, uh, trying to frame up my shot. Uh, this one goes to 60 inches if you raise the center column uh, or down to about 50 inches uh, if you don't raise the center column, which I find is pretty decent height level. I'm not having to stoop over too much. Um, and it enables you to get sort of, uh, if you're gonna do video, it enables you to get headshots uh, and it's pretty much high enough for anything I do with landscape photography. It will also go down as low as 15 inches so you can get nice little shots sort of low down with a different viewpoint. One of the cool features of this tripod is that you can reverse the center column. So if you wanna get upside down shots, if you want to, uh, if you want to shoot top down view, uh, then you've got a lot of different options. So it enables you to get lots of different shots. The tripod also comes with a little rubber feet at the end, which is great for getting extra grip. If you're on smooth surfaces, concrete, or if you're indoors filming or photographing uh, and you've got a smooth surface, it's got little grippers on them as well. They're very solid. They're well stuck on. I've never lost one of those in two years. In fact, Overall, the tripod has uh, performed exceptionally well. I'm really happy with it. For under $200, you know you're getting Manfrotto quality, um, but it pretty much does everything I need in a tripod. This tripod comes with a two-year guarantee as standard, but if you register on the Manfrotto site, they'll actually upgrade the uh, warranty with it to 10 years, so you get an additional eight years. So this thing at $200 represents really good value because you're actually gonna get 10 years warranty with it as well. Uh, for $200, or it's about 195 in the US, but you can pick it up on Amazon in sort of a fire sale sometimes. Sometimes they'll do a lightning deal, or you might be able to get something on Black Friday or at Christmas time. Uh, just keep an eye out because I think I paid 125 pounds for this in the UK, which is a little bit below recommended retail price. 
Uh, so do keep an eye out on that. I usually buy it from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description down below so that you can go and have a look at it and check out the latest pricing. I should mention as well that it comes with a little carry case. So should you want to sort of put it in there, um, it's got a little bit of padding in the carry case, so it will protect it. I normally, what I do is, is I stick the tripod in here along with any little adapters, anything else that I want in there, uh, and then I'll throw that into my luggage bag. So I think I found you a really good tripod. Uh, I hope the review was helpful to you. If it was, then uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, um, a like, uh, smash that notification bell, and uh, there's gonna be a lot more reviews coming up soon on this channel. Uh, I have um, a lot of camera reviews coming up. If you wanna learn more about cameras, if you wanna see what gear is right for you, then uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you're notified when the next video is uploaded, and I'll see you next time.